I really want you to make a film about Whitney Houston because I loved her, but I never understood her. Why did you choose Whitney as the subject of your documentary? And how much did you know about her life before you started making the film? Usually you make, and I've made documentaries about people before, it's because I really, really admired them and loved them. And in this case, I actually had slightly negative feelings about her. And it was because you know, I've sort of seen her decline in the tabloids and seen um, her sort of destroy her beauty and her voice and it's hard to sometimes feel sympathetic for someone who's addicted to drugs as one who's you know year after year after year can't seem to quit so I actually grew to love her during the film and the reason I made the film was because I met her old agent from from Hollywood who said to me I really want you to make a film about Whitney Houston because I loved her but I never understood her and I knew her for 25 years and I don't understand why she ended up the way that she ended up. And it's a total mystery to me. And she was really emotional about that, wanting to know. And that was such an amazing invitation to me. Handling such a well-known star, what was the biggest challenge you faced when making the documentary? Well, you know, a lot of times when you make a, when you make a film about a big star, you're struggling to get control of, 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 of the story because their family or the estate control the music or control the image or the photographs or whatever it is and they want a particular story to be told that's much okay. you know glossier and more optimistic but in this case that wasn't the case they, they, the family Whitney's family came to me and said we are really want you to make this film and we're going to give you access to everything all the photographs all the film footage and everything and we'll talk to you um, and you can have control over the editorial content of the, of the film as well because they recognised that, that that was how they were going to get a good film and actually more important than anything else for her reputation is to have a, a good film which helps explain her. Yeah, I can imagine that being really sort of exciting. Mm, mm. As a fellow documentary maker, how do you get your interviewees to trust you and to open up? <laughs> if, if you're a bit incompetent, sometimes it helps because then people you know, they feel that you're not a threat. <laughs> and so if you're like one of those really stern interviewers, then people get on edge. And, but if you're a bit more gentle, I find that, that people will open up. But also, actually, the biggest trick is just not to say anything. You see, if we were to sit here and you would just sort of look at me, I would feel like, ooh, I better say something. And then you start talk <laughs> and you start talking. And that's often what I do, is I just sort of, I ask a question, and then when they stop, I just sort of don't say anything and don't say anything for a bit. And then people start talking again because nobody likes the silence. I actually noticed that. That's really <laughs> interesting, actually. How does your approach to filmmaking differ between documentary and fiction film? And which would you say you prefer? <laughs> I, I, I kind of deliberately try and go between doing documentary and doing drama because they both kind of flex different muscles, you know. You do, you, you, there's, there's different things that are really great about doing, about doing each one. When you're working with a, in a drama, you're working much more collaboratively with lots of really creative, interesting people. So you've got the cinematographer, you've got the editor, you've got the composer, you've got um, you know, designers, and, all, and you make something that's better than you could do on your own, if you see what I mean. Um, it also pays better. <laughs> <laughs> but. Documentaries are, you know, they satisfy your natural curiosity, wanting to understand the world. I've always been a really curious person, wanting to understand other people, a bit nosy, asking inappropriate questions, and, uh, and you get to do that, and it's okay to ask nosy questions if, you're, if there's a camera there, you can ask whatever you like, and people will answer it. Um, which one I prefer? I think probably deep down, I prefer a documentary. I started doing documentaries. I think I feel like that's my natural habitat. That's 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 dry land for me. Making fiction is like you know swimming, best breaststroke. Mm. Not quite, might drown at any moment. <laughs> <laughs>